Emotional intelligence improves your work life and your personal life, but it all starts with you. Understanding and managing all of your emotions mm. is a key part for success and happiness in life. In these areas, emotional intelligence is as important as your IQ. Fortunately, it's something you can learn. Today I show you the four most important steps you need to follow in order to get a higher emotional intelligence. Number 1. Self-awareness. People with high emotional intelligence are very self-aware. Think about it. How can you manage your emotions if you don't even understand them? Before you can control yourself, you need to know what's happening inside of you. With a high EQ you can understand how to rule your feelings instead of them ruling you. You are much more confident because you trust your intuition and you don't let your emotions control you. To achieve this, you need to know what you are doing, know how you feel about it and you need to figure out what you don't know about yourself. In the 21st century, it's really hard for you to not get distracted. We just sit there looking into our smartphones or television without even realizing how much time we spend doing this. We are basically on autopilot. Remove those distractions from your life for some time and you will be surprised what happens to you. Focus on how you feel without the distractions to move on to the next level. Exploring how you feel can be scary. Maybe you notice that you didn't treat your family right or you realize that you are unhappy with your life. At that point of realization it's really important to not judge those emotions. Emotions can be scary but they are good. They help you to find out what's going wrong so you can fix it. Now that you know how you feel you can start to work on yourself. For example, you discuss with someone about a topic and every time he has another opinion than you, you feel angry. You can't focus on your thoughts and the discussion is ruined because of the emotions. But if you realize those angry emotions, you can start trying to react better to them. Which brings us to the next point for a higher EQ. Number 2. Self-regulation. Emotions are signals. If you try to control your emotions, you will soon realize that this is nearly impossible. You can't control them, but you can react to them. Emotions will always be a part of you and learning how to react to them helps you to control yourself. Anger can be a bad emotion if you react to it by hurting people or yourself. But it can be a good emotion if you use it to correct injustice or to protect people. After recognizing your emotions, you have to think before you act. This way you can manage your emotions and decide whether or not they are appropriate for this specific situation. For example, if you discuss with someone and you get angry because he has another opinion than you, recognize that emotion and decide if it's helpful for the discussion or not. In this case most likely it's not. So try to calm down to discuss on a normal and respectful level again. Who knows, maybe you change your opinion after hearing and understanding your counterpart's opinion. Now you know how to recognize and react to your own emotions. But to achieve a high EQ, you also need to know how to recognize and react to the emotions of others. Number 3. Empathy. With a high EQ you can build healthy and useful relationships. You need to connect to the emotional needs of others by listening to them and sharing your honest opinion. Don't get me wrong, you most likely won't understand everything someone says to you. The important thing is to respect and accept the people even if you don't fully understand them. If you hurt someone's feelings and you recognize it, the only right thing to do in this situation is to apologize instantly. Think about how your actions will affect others. You can put yourself in their place before you act a certain way to evaluate whether to take the action or not. Treat them as an own individual with own opinions, feelings and interests, not as an extension of yourself. Relationships get us out of our own little world and show us the world around us. Rather if it's a healthy personal relationship or a healthy business relationship, they will help us to move on in our life. The only thing you have to keep in mind is, there are also bad relationships and if you can't turn them into good relationships, move on without them. Use your EQ to recognize emotions in others and build healthy relationships with that. Number 4. Use your emotions to spread your good values. Emotional intelligence is meaningless without the right values. If you don't understand what I'm saying here, listen to this. A highly emotional intelligence CEO uses his skills to motivate his employees. It actually works. 
With his EQ, the CEO gets his employees to sell more products than ever. But the creation of this product is destroying our planet. It harms the world we are all living in. So how is the high EQ of this CEO a virtue here? He uses his emotional intelligence to destroy the planet and this doesn't fit the principles of a good intelligent person. You always have to choose your values. And your emotions will spread those values by motivating you to achieve whatever you want. Probably the most emotional intelligence skill you can develop is to determine your true values. Take care of yourself, we'll see us again. Don't forget to like and subscribe, I hope it helps you to achieve a smarter living.